Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2. We are here with uh, a new family on this episode. I've decided that not only am I going to be making these episodes a smidge longer, I'm going to make it like 15 minutes long, 15, that came out really totally wrong, I do apologize, 15 minutes longer, um, um, I thought about also kind of incorporating you guys and allowing you guys to choose some things for each episode. So in this one, we are here with the the Batiao household and I think it's father and daughter if I believe if I'm correct um it's Armand and his daughter Tara I do believe don't hold me to that but I do think it is his daughter let's see how do you see here right here family tree yeah it's definitely his daughter um and as you can tell he had two parents obviously and he had four grandparents which have all unfortunately uh passed away so that's unfortunate but that's kind of how it goes so um armand is a single man looking for a lady oh who's this jessica peterson i don't know if you go into hers i wonder if you see her mom no you don't you don't actually see her mom so that's fine but I was just wondering. Anyway, so they have a really huge house. It's really big. Um, it's actually an apartment building. Uh, you would never know it because it just seems so huge. It just seems like where else could anyone else live because we take up this whole floor. Uh, we're actually very wealthy. So we weren't worried about money when in the money situation with, uh, with this apartment, obviously. Um, so I'm going to try and figure out how you walk into this place. Okay, right here. So this is where you would come up the stairs um, into the actual, the actual apartment for the, our house and you come in and it's like this, uh, entryway. It's got like the grandfather clock. It's got like, you know, the fireplace, a painting easel and all that. It's also got the half bath off of it. Um, over here would be his daughter, Tara's bedroom. This is her bedroom. She's got her desk, her nice bed. She's got a full bath, a closet, a pretty big closet actually. And then over here would be his bedroom and he's got like the seating area and a double closet pretty much because if he were to be married, you know, and then he's got a dresser, nothing too spectacular, but he's also got an ensuite on his with a shower and a tub. Um, and then off of the thing right here, you've got our hot tub in the middle of our house, which goes up on a platform, which I really like that idea. And then like a seating bench. This here, I believe is heat. I can't really remember. Um, wait, you can turn on your heat in here. I guess so. Um, it's got like a sculpture. It's got a little table over here. Anyways, off over here, you've got like your little, uh, study area. It's got like the computer and the piano and like some seating areas. Here is like what I would take as kind of like your living room, except for this half. If you, if I roll the walls up for you, cause so you guys can see, it's actually hidden behind two bookshelves. Well, one bookshelf, I guess. I thought that one was a bookshelf as well, but I do guess it's just a really big painting. It kind of makes sense. It's hidden behind this wall. I don't really know why or what's the whole deal behind hiding just a fireplace and a couch, but that's fine with me as well. What are on these things? Is there anything you can do with any of these? No, it's just it's just sitting table or end tables and books. Um, over here is our bar and our dining area, obviously, and then through here is our pretty petite kitchen. I'm really surprised it's so tiny, but the house is so luxurious. It's unbearable. So, um, he's got a wish to see Tara become an overachiever and we're definitely going to try to do that. It's going to be pretty rough to get her to do that. Uh, because if you don't know what that means, it means that parents and grandparents really love to see a teen excel to make a sim, a teen sim an overachiever. You have to make sure they do all their homework, go to school in a great mood to get an A plus while getting them promoted to the top of their teen job. Oh goodness. Um, she is at the beginning of her teen days, so I'm hoping that we're able to actually complete this for her. I do want her to go ahead and just take care of her needs, and then I want him to do the same. I'm going to have to find him a different bathroom, obviously, because he can't go in this is the same bathroom as his daughter, because it's just un it's not right. Anyways, we'll go ahead and let him use his own ensuite bathroom. I just think that would be appropriate, and uh, and I think, you know... It makes kind of sense. She also wants to go to college. So she'll probably be our first teen that will probably be taking to college, which will be really exciting. I'm really excited. I want to get into the college theme and, you know, get into all that kind of stuff. Um, but she also wants to have a very her very first kiss. Do I want to lock in that or that? kind of want to do both. I do. 
Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. What is going on outside? Hold on. I hear like a helicopter. Oh, there's a helicopter outside. Oh, he has to go to work. Okay. Well, the helicopter's for him. It comes for his job because he's in the business tycoon. He's a business tycoon. He's in the business career, obviously. And poor little Tara. Uh, she's in private school right now. She's actually already got an A, so that's pretty good because then, you know, we don't have to really work on that. We just got to get her a job, I think. I don't even know how to get her a job. Can she just like... She could throw a party. I don't think Dad would really appreciate the little sweet darling daughter throwing a party right now. So maybe we should look for a newspaper. Normally it's outside your door on this game. But I'm going to look again. Okay, we'll back up to her. Um, no, I don't have a paper outside my door. So I'm, I'm not really sure. Do you have a boyfriend? No, she just really knows her dad and that's about it. Well, she doesn't know this kid, Justin Cleveland. Why don't you invite him over? Okay, let's call Sim. Wait, you can call the college. Could we go to college on this one? Oh my goodness. Don't they go as young adults on here? Or do they really go as teens? Oh my goodness, if she could go to college today, you know how exciting that would be. Moved to college. Let's apply for scholarships. Congratulations, Tara. You qualify this for the SimCity Scholars Grant. If you maintain your excellent grades, then you will receive a grant of a thousand dollar a thousand simoleons towards your next semester in college. Yay! Woohoo! Alright, try calling the college and see if we can accept that money. Oh, here's the guy. Review accepted scholarships. Okay. So she gets a thousand simoleons. You know what? Let's just go to college. You think we should? She wants to go. So it may be a good time to go. Alright, let's move to college. Tara is about to leave this household and move to college. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Now, the thing is, is when we go to college, it's going to take a while to get through the college, so we'll probably be playing her for a couple of weeks. Um, but there's nothing I can really do. Alright, so a taxi is here to take Tara off to college and, a new li and to a new life as a young adult. Wait, she's not a young adult. She's a teen. Did she come back as a young adult? I can't really remember what happens there. I didn't know you could go as a teen. That's exciting. Alright, well, we just got our computer, but we'll have to get it when we come home. We'll have to get our, our free computer when we get home. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? Alright, so we're going to go... Alright, she's moved to college and can be found in the college neighborhood in the student's bin. You can start off Tara's college life in a new lot or have Tara join an existing household. Well, how do I... Uh-oh. I thought we were going with her. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. So how do we find her now? I'm really scared. Okay, well... I forgot you could do this. This is so exciting. We could be reading their book. Uh-oh. She told him about her man. Yeah. I don't really know how to do this, guys. I do want to go to college with her, though. So maybe when he gets home, what I'll do is I'll save. I'll try to go out to the main menu and see if we can go from there and go to college with her. That way, we get it all done. Alright, he just earned 2,100 simoleons. 
He is sick with a cold. He will need plenty of rest in order to recover. If he gets enough sleep and doesn't spend too much time standing up, he'll be healthy in no time. We got a pregnant lady. Is this that pregnant lady? Oh, it is. That Anna Patel girl. He was, um, or she was out with us the other day. Remember, in the last episode. All right, I'm going to save because I want to, I, if I go out, if I go to the college somehow, if I figure out how I can get there, you know, let's just save the lot first. Sometimes it does that. It's freaky. It's weird. It's weird. All right. Wait. Ooh. Wow. We could go to all these places. <gasps> Let's go to college. Minimize. What does this mean? College chooser. I don't know what this means. Downtown. I don't think we want this. I think we want to go up to the neighborhood. I really thought, um, okay, let's take her to, okay, let's go to this, let's go to this one. Okay. Okay, I think we did it. This is Acad Academie Latour is a prominent educational institution proud of its impressive scholastic heritage, classical campus design, and successful alumni. Sims clamor to gain ex admission to Latour, knowing full well that when they graduate, they'll have a big head start in their careers. Will the new students be able to meet the high expectations? Dahlia enjoys the peace and quiet that living alone offers and moved into her own house as soon as she was able. Who wants to deal with the drama of, of roommates? Nothing is worse than having a dorky brother except maybe having a dorky brother live with you at school. Can Roxy and Edwin create some house rules and get along or will Roxy have to choose between her boyfriend and her brother to keep the peace? Mitch and Max met the first day of school and struck up a friendship. What will they discover now that they've moved out of the dorms and are on their own? That's the story of the town. Now, how do we move someone in? Oh, here she is. <gasps> Look at all these people. We could play them all. I mean, it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. But since we're on her story today, we'll just push her, put her in. Let's see. Ten rooms. Nine, six, we'll put her with ten. Why not? Okay. Wow, this is loud. Aww. Daddy Doodles. She's excited. Did she become a young adult? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, she becomes a young adult when she moves here. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't know that. See, I would have remembered that if I had been, you know, doing all my shiznack the way it should have been. <gasps> she doesn't want to see the death of her dad. That's sad. I don't want to see that either. So we're not going to let it happen. Okay, let's see. So there's this room over here, which we could take as our own. She's got a blue bed. This one's got a red bed. Just a dresser. Just a computer. Kind of want something a little more ecstatic or exciting. This one's just got a dresser. That one's just got a dresser. I like that bed the best, though, honestly. We're going to need a computer, so we may need to take one with a computer. I'm kind of thinking maybe this one. Or we could just buy her a computer. She doesn't really have that much money, though. Does Dad, like, kick her out with no money? 
kind of like this one though too. Did we choose her career? Um, she hasn't declared her major. We need to declare a major too. All right, let's choose one with a computer in it at least. Um, so we've got this one. I don't know why this is flashing, but it drives me nuts. We could choose this one, which I really liked, but I don't really like the carpeting, but we could always change that. Um, or there's that one. I think we're going to go with this one on the second floor. I just think it's kind of more her. I don't really know. Probably not. And we do need to change her clothes, though. So before someone claims this, let's go ahead and plan her outfit. Um... You can't just plain all of her outfits. I guess not. Well, at least let's do her every day. Okay, stop blinking. It's annoying. Okay, and we do need to declare her major. We've got some stuff we need to do, folks. Okay, let's see. There's another floor. I, d I had no idea. I honestly had no idea. She didn't claim that door, did she? Yeah, she did. See, her photo goes on it. I love that. I love that you can do that. And we also need to, um, we need to declare our major. Okay, well, oh, wow. Okay, well, we're going to have to go buy her some things, I think. So that'll be fine. All right, let's declare our major. I really didn't know that she actually, um, like we would have gotten made into a young adult. I would have have sent her. I would have waited until she was a young adult. That's annoying. I don't really like that. That's okay. Oh, I know it for next time at least. Okay, my husband's got like this intercom thing on my phone and it's like my bird. Maybe that'll stop it. Oh, wow. We got a lot. So, we, we need to choose a major for Tara, and this one is history major, so it would go towards the law artist, oh, I got to sneeze, military, <coughs> or it would go to her politics. She's already got cooking, quite a bit of logic and creativity, so I'm thinking kind of either go, go with a cooking career or create something with creative, so... um. The artistic career would be kind of fun, I think. So this one is the psych, the physics major. It's either the gamer, medicine, paranormal, or science. This is literature. It's for music, adventure, entertainment. Oh, I'd love to do adventure. Um, entertainment, criminal, show business, or slacker. This one is for law, intelligence, military, politics, or show business. I didn't even tell you what that was. It's political. This is the mathematics for the gamer, the architecture, the criminal, the natural scientist, or the science. Economics for music, intelligence, business, politics, or show business. Biology could be education, which is a new one. This is on a oceanography, which is cool. Law enforcement. I would like to do that one too medicine or natural scientist. Philosophy is journalism, culinary, paranormal, or slacker. Art major is journalism, architecture, artist, culinary, or slacker. This is drama for entertainment, dance. <gasps> we could do dance with her. Athletic, political, or show business. Then psychology would be law, education, intelligence, business, and um, law enforcement, or paranormal. I forgot about some of these careers. So it's either between adventure, dance, which was this one, or what was the other one that spiked my, oh yeah, the oceanography. Um, <laughs> I think she's not prep preppy enough to do dance, to be honest. So it's either between biology or the adventure, and I could see her as an adventure, but I could also see her liking to go underneath the um, the ocean. So let's see: biology, the study of life, trees, gazelles, sims, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which 
What makes them work? If it has cells, a biologist can study it and find it. Unfortunately, they don't know a darn thing about robots. Then this one for literature, which is the adventure career, it says, the study of the written word, reading and writing may seem like a basic skill, but language is power, and those who study literature can harness the power to convince, educate, or dominate other sims. I think we're going to go with oceanography. I think that'll be fun. So we're going to go with the biology major. Exciting. All right, so now she also needs to start writing her, uh, her term paper. It's one of the really important things in The Sims 2. For college, you need to get that term paper done as soon as possible. Because without it, you don't do very well. All right, so do her assignment, buy a telescope, do research, and go to class. I locked in, um, do assignment. I think that would be best. If we focus more on her skills, when she's done, when she's got this pretty much maxed, um, then we can go ahead and say, okay, we got it maxed. We can sit back and relax um, because she's still got 70 hours until her final exam right now. So that's quite a bit of time. We got, we got some people moving in. Kelly, I think, took this door. This is our door, so Kelly is our next door neighbor-ish person. No one's taking these yet. Let's see. No one's taking those. Uh, looks like this man's going to take this door. What's his name? Just do. Okay. Random name. Random tandem. It looks like we got another person moving in. And also, if you don't know, on The Sims 2, they have their food made for them. So when they're hungry, like she is now, she could just come over here and grab a plate. And she's good to go. And then she could just come over here. She can use the bathroom. And then wash her hands. And she's good to go. Seriously. That's all that they have to do. They don't even have to make their own food. They can if they want to, but they don't have to. How's she doing on this paper? Let's see. Look at She's almost halfway done. She's doing really good. I would like to speed her through it. We got some people, uh singing some songs. Alright, so this says, building class performance. Your sim needs to build class performance. The class performance meter shows how well your sim is doing in the current sem semester. <clears throat> Activities such as writing a term paper on the computer or doing assignments will build class performance. To have your sim do their assignments, click on them and choose college due assignment. Higher class performance gives more money in the form of grants at the end of the semester. Okay, well, we're already doing our term paper. I remember about the term paper. I was really upset when The Sims 3 didn't have it, to be honest. I really liked that for the, uh, for it. So, I don't know. Oh, she's 96% done. All right. Well, when she's done, let's go ahead and get her to, uh, finish that. Once she's got that done, it'll be really high. So, we won't even really have to worry about things, honestly. Okay, let's get you to... Use bathroom. And see, they don't even have to clean up after themselves. That person who cooks for them, the uh, chef or whatever she is, I don't even know what they call it. Well, it's Joel Jordan, but whatever. He cleans up and everything after them as well. It's kind of crazy. I wish someone would do that for me when I was in college. Use. Okay. Seriously, people? Fine. Then I'll use this one. How about that? Suck on those toes. Ha. <laughs> Okay, come on. This is the bad thing as well. You always have to fight to get into a bathroom all the time. She needs fun. We need to give her some fun. Because look at that. That's horrible. And she needs some social. So maybe we could meet up with some man that we thought was cute. It'd be worth it. Sometimes. Alright. So we do need to find someone. Actually, I think she can invite over this man. Justin Cleveland. I don't really know though. Not too. I'm not 100 percent sure. You know, we were using that computer, and we've got this one. We're silly. Finish writing your term paper if you can. It'd be great if she could get that done today, first day of college, getting it right out of the way. It'd be perfect. What is she doing? There's a fire. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, they do have these sprinkler things. I love it. Crazy people. Stop setting my kitchen on fire. I think she's playing video games. I honestly do. Alright, well I'm going to let her play for a little while just so she can get her fun up. 
Okay, class starts in one hour. Going to class is a great way to build class performance. Sims in a good mood will go to class by themselves, but you can send any sim to class by clicking on the sim when selected and choosing college and then go to class. All right, she is class in one hour. Okay, so she's going to class. She's in a really good mood, actually. And she got them points, which is great. What does she want to do? Ooh, write a term paper. That's worth more. I'm going to have to lock it in, unfortunately. She is going to do her assignment when she gets home, so don't worry about that. Look at these people just playing. Okay, I think she's home. All right, this is Tara met Professor Charlene Seavey in class today, and she met Professor Remington Carlson in class today as well. What is she doing? What is she doing? Okay, seriously? Why are you freaking out about this? Just eat. Stop freaking out about the... Re Stop reacting to the sprinkler and just eat the food. Okay, I don't know what was happening with her there, but that was crazy. Well, she's making some friends. This girl's pretty. Charles Miller. How's he look? Not really a fan of the hair, but everything else is kind of okay. Not the cutest I've seen. Alright, so she goes to class at 1700 and 1900. Okay, so when she's done, let's go ahead and let her go upstairs. And let's go ahead and let her... Let's let her play the video game. She's gained enough enthusiasm in cuisine to talk about it with other sims. Exciting. All right, that's good. Now let's just finish off our term paper before bed. Hopefully she can. She could, that'd be perfect. Yeah, she's defeated the twin demons. All right, she needs to sleep. Let's let her sleep. She's defeated the twin demons of procrastination and distraction to f finish a term paper, which will boost Tara's grade for the semester. So now if you go to her school performance, this is how high it put her. That's crazy. She also needs to do her assignment before class tomorrow. So when she gets up, we'll have to have her get that done. Actually, she's going to need to use this bathroom first. So let's use, take a shower, and then we'll do our assignment. I don't know why it's blinking. If you guys can see that, I do apologize. I don't really know what it is. All right, college, do assignment. There we go. Perfect. Um, buddy, you're not supposed to be in my room. Well, we're going to have to lock that then. Before we do our assignment. Because I don't really want everyone in my room. See, this is what I don't want. Okay, I think she's just about up. Okay, she wants to do an assignment, and we're going to do that. Okay, let's hurry this up. Once she gets this done, she will be good to go. All right, so it's locked, so no one else can get in. He puts that little sign on it, makes some, it locked. Oh my goodness, she's hot, so we do need to uh, take care of that as well. Where is she at? Okay, well, you could have taken us with you. They'll go to the tables that they eat their breakfast and things at to do their homework, which is kind of cute. I do like it. All right, and let's go ahead and let her eat, too, when she's done. Okay, so she's going to finish this assignment, hopefully, pretty soon, and then we can go. The environment is horrible in this house. But she's doing a good job, so I'm proud of her. And as you can see, there we go. Boosted it really high, so that's really good. Um, 
That person just stole my plate of food. I don't appreciate you stealing my food. Let's eat that. And then maybe we'll go watch some TV or something until class. Because we've already done our term paper, so now we can just sit back and kind of relax. What does she want to do? She wants to learn uh, physiology. Is that what I said? Physiology. Well, we could do it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. If she wants to do it, we can do it. It's easy to get things done for these guys. Um, let's see. Let's read. No, we need to study physiology. I don't really know if that's going to give her fun, but it, maybe it'll help her environment. This environment in this kitchen and dining room is horrible. She's in a really good mood, though, so I'm proud. She also wants to go to class again, so we will be doing that. Okay, here we go. Tara's going to go upstairs. She's going to get out of this room that has horrible environment, hopefully, and put that back up into green. Because this environment is bad. Yeah, there we go. That put her in a better mood as well. Hopefully, I don't know if studying this is going to be any fun for her. I don't think it is, to be honest. Can you lock someone else's door? No. Alright, we could learn painting and things as well. She wants to gain a skill point, so... If she gets both of these done, she'll actually get double the points, so that would be pretty good. Look at that girl, she's cute. Okay, here we go. Speed her up through this. I really don't think it gives her fun or anything, but that's okay. Whoa, someone was just streaking. <laughs> can see it a little bit. Oh, there's the mascot. By the way, if you didn't know, the mascot's uh, chant is the same in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. If you didn't know that. I did. I knew that. I think it's cool that they kept it the same. And I do hope that in the base game for um, The Sims 4, they have the college thing in it. Okay, you do need to go to class. So let's go ahead and do that. At least she started that, I guess. I don't know. Is it something she needs for class? No, see, she doesn't need those skills. I think the skill she needs is logic, mechanical, and cooking, and she's got each of those skills. We're already in fall. Five days left in fall. Okay, well, we'll get it figured out. Alright, and since this is her floor, I will make sure she keeps using her own floor's bathroom. It's just more appropriate, I think. So we'll use it, and we will take a shower. She doesn't need fun, though. So maybe I'll let her watch some TV when she gets home. That would be something nice to do for her. Okay, there we go. Go to class. She's there. She's actually a little late, I think. She wants to make the Dingens list. I would love to do that as well. She also wants to, um... What is that? Learn counseling. Is that what it was? Oh, it's gone now. Talk about a hobby throw a sports party but look at she's already maxed and we haven't even really done anything so let's go ahead and use take a shower pretty much if you write your paper and do your assignments you will be perfectly fine that is the cue and then let's watch oh let's watch a movie let's watch a movie and let's watch a comedy we'll watch chicken Okay. She's not really hungry, so I don't think I need to feed her. She does really need fun. And then after she has some fun watching TV, I'll go ahead and make her do her assignment. And maybe we can finish learning the physiology like she wants to. They do make sure that you can get all the skills that you need. They always put in all the required items, and they give you stuff to do for fun and everything right here at the dorm. So that's good. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. Stupid phone always makes my thing click. I should probably get her some food. 
All right, she's gained enthusiasm in film and literature. She can now read about the hobby in the newspaper. Exciting. Let's get her some food now. So let's eat this. And then when you're done, let's get you to do your assignment. And then I'm going to have you go to bed. There we go. That way we get her taken care of. It is like midnight, but you know, college kids, they're up all the time. Really late anyways. I never was as a college student actually. See, these people leave their homework here. You can actually do it for them. Or you cannot. This is Jess's and this is Kenneth's. I personally don't want to do their homework. I think we've got enough homework that we don't need to do someone else's. But you can. You could be really nice. You could be a really nice uh, roommate. Do your friends or do your roommate's homework. That would be a nice thing to do. If someone did my homework in, ho in college, I would have gotten in trouble. But anyways, not the point. Let's go ahead and study physiology. There's so many different things that you can study in here, like parenting. Things that I wish that they had actually added into The Sims 3. I love everything that's in The Sims 3, but I miss some of the things that was in The Sims 2 that could have been potentially in The Sims 3 as well. So I'm hoping that they're going to combine The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 for The Sims 4 and make it like the master game of The Sims. You know how cool that would be? I would probably never play another Sims game again. I'm lying. I would. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I think it would be really cool. Alright, so tomorrow is actually our final exam. It's more like midterms, but okay. Did that person seriously just walk in on us? Where is she? I can't even find her. She's so quick. Oh, she's going to answer the phone. Okay. Let's see. What she want to do? Learn fire prevention. Learn couples counseling. I want to make the dean's list. I do want to do some of these other things as well. I've learned all sorts of stuff about about my body that's sure to help me become a healthier sim. You can become a healthier sim. Perfect. Let's go ahead and we should probably read up on fire prevention. So let's study fire safety. What was the other one? Cu parents? It's about couples counseling. We're not a couple, so let's do fire safety. I don't know why you're talking to some random person on the phone. Who was it? Was it somebody for you? Who was that person? I don't even know who that is. Oh, it's a professor. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know your professor's actually... I forgot your professor's actually called you. You probably should talk to your dad soon, too, so you don't lose that relationship. Because that would be best that you don't lose it. The, sem the semester timer shows how much time is left in the semester. Your sims need to fill the class performance meter to at least the white line before the semester timer runs out. If this doesn't happen, they will go on academic probation and will have to repeat the semester. Yeah, see, we're way above. We're topped out, so there's nothing else we can do. I have flunked out before when I first started this playing The Sims 2 and was doing the university thing. I flunked completely out of college and I was like, what did I just do? And I felt so bad because she actually had to stay an extra semester. So she didn't actually graduate with the people that she came here with. So it was pretty sad. It was pretty sad. Alright, I'm going to let you come down and eat. You freaking jerk. You just ate my food. Fine, I'm going to eat that then. I do like on The Sims 2 though, when you're clicked on to eat something, someone else can't come down. As long as you're in the, it's in the queue that you're doing it. If they, if you're not actually coming down to do it at that moment, they will eat your food. Like you just saw with that man right there. Just do. Jerk. Jerk. Jerkity jerk, 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 jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. Alright, 19 hours until final exams again. Exciting. We'll get her to watch some TV. Hopefully that'll help her with her fun meter, because she's not having a bit much fun. Though I have been pretty much pushing schooling. But that's what she comes here to do, is to go to school, not to mess around, mess about. So let's get her, let's get her fun meter up. We don't come here to watch TV. <clears throat> Though we do it just to get her fun meter up. <laughs> Alright, she has class in one hour, so here we go. We're going. We're going to class. The bad thing is that really stresses her out and stuff when she goes, unfortunately. But hopefully she makes it on the Dean's list. 
She probably won't today. She'll probably do it after her exams. But her exams are coming up anyways. In 14 hours. It's pretty scary. Alright, what does she want to do? You want to bird watch. Okay, we could bird watch. Never done this before. Okay. I think we should go downtown and try and get her some clothes. Can you do that? Can you go downtown? Call a taxi. She's not very tired or anything, so I think it's probably a good time to do it. I want to get her some different clothes. I don't really like these clothes. She's got almost 1500 to be able to do this. She's only spent $4. I mean, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. We do need to use the bathroom quickly before we go. So let's use it and wash our hands so that we're good. Okay, there we go. I'm going to watch the road just to make sure the taxi doesn't leave without us because sometimes they will. It's a crazy taxis. Ooh, yeah, here we go. We don't want to go to Belladonna Cove. We want to stay here at this place. And let's see, what was this? Fashion comes first at the Canvas Boutique. Stop in at Lazy Urban Hangout or the Total Closet to check out today's hottest lots looks. Yeah, we want to go here. What did it say? Yeah. Here, let's go to the Campus Boutiques because then we can get some new clothes. We do need some. This will definitely help. I promise. The make we can make her look totally different. I'll lo you'll love it. You'll get you'll see why. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are, and let's see, it says, even though your sim has left their home lot, their semester timer is still running, so keep an eye on it and while your sim explores campus. We're not going to be here long, we're just going to grab some clothes and we're going to leave. So, what we actually need to do, oh yeah, she could actually buy some stuff from here, which, this is cell phones, so we could get her to buy a cell phone, but I think clothes is kind of important. So let's see how much we're going to spend on clothes first. You can also buy comic books and, you know, that kind of stuff. But we're not really worried about that right now. We're just looking for, um, we're looking for some new clothing. Now, I think her everyday wear is what we're just going to focus on right now. What does she want to do? Browse. No, let's buy. We want to, well, yeah, we want to buy. Okay, so let's go see what we can get. Okay, here we go. It was just freezing because it was going into the thing. So, as a young adult, this is the options that we have. Um, we could choose an outfit or we could go separate, but you can come here and purchase what you want. Now, I'm thinking we purchase at least one top and one bottom or one outfit, either or. I'm just looking through what we, they've got first. I know it's kind of a quick look through, but I don't really want to be here forever. I don't really want to spend all of her money today. I'm kind of thinking an outfit. Maybe an outfit would be best. Let's see. What do they got? What was that one? Oh, no. I'm not really feeling that one. Um, I'm trying to pick something that would fit her. Oh, these dresses are really cute, aren't they? They are really cute. I really like this one. Uh, I'm not really feeling it with her red hair. It kind of matches too much. A little bit too much. Just a little bit. Um, you can always come back too and buy more clothes. So that's good. This is really cute. There's the blue one. I really like this one. How much is this? 200 Alright, let's add it to the cart. And this is going to be her actual everyday wear now. So we're going to buy that as her everyday wear. Slow down. 
She actually goes and purchase it here at the counter. Wait, did you buy that? I think you did. All right, can we switch? Can we change our outfit now? Change into... All right, let's go plan your outfit. Okay, here we go. So if we go into outfits, you can see it's right here now. And that is what we're going to choose for her. So now she's got her new outfit on. I'll show you in just a second. Here it is, her new outfit. Now, you can also do hair. I don't know if you can do hair here, but I think you can. Change your appearance. There we go. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can choose a different hair for her. That's cute. I like that. I'm not going to change hair color. That's not what I'm here for. I'm changing her hair style. That's cute as well. I do notice that they've taken some of the ideas from The Sims 2 and put them in Sims 3. I do realize that. Like this one, except for this doesn't hang down in front of their face on The Sims 3. If you look, go look at some of their hairstyles and you'll realize. I really think the first one was the best so far. Um, yeah, this is the vampire one. Which, she's not a vampire, so we really don't need to do that to her. Kind of mean. I didn't know that they had that. Um, so far, honestly, I do really like the first one the best. If you guys think I'm going too fast, um, you can always pause the videos. I do like that one, though. When I like that one, too. But I still say I like the first one the best. When I go back to the first one, I may be like, I don't like that one the best. Alright, I think I do like the first one the best. So I'm going to try it back on and see. I still say I like this one the best. Alright, we could do some makeup as well. Eyebrows. I think her eyebrows are fine. We don't want costume makeup. We just want makeup. Let's see. We could do some blush a little bit. Okay, Why is it doing her whole face? It's kind of freaky. Let's do that one. Her eyebrows, her eyelashes are good. What does she have on for this? Um, she has like a brown on, so we should probably do something kind of subtle. Maybe that. That looks cute. And then for her lips, let's make them a little bit better. Um, not like that. That's too brown. Green lips. No, thank you. Like that. We're going to go with that. And then, yeah, that should be it. Alright, so we have a totally different looking sim now. And we have plenty of money that we could come over here and we could buy her a cell phone. Because I don't believe she has one yet. No, she doesn't. Alright, so let's get over here and let's buy her a cell phone. She's hitting on some people on the way over. <laughs> okay. So we could get her this cellular phone for 149 There is an MP3 player in here as well, which I think the MP3 player is amazing. And then we'll get her a cell phone as well. Why not? Okay, and let's get the cell phone. Okay, so if you don't know what you can do with these, they're in your inventory right here. What you can actually do. Why can you not take them out? Do you have to wait until you go home to use them? You might. I can't remember. Um, let's see. What else do we need? What else do we feel we might want? We could try. Um, let's see. Buy for... formal. Do we think we'll be wearing formal? Probably not. I'm not too worried about formal at this moment. She could eat here if she wanted. Um, there is this upstairs as well. I think this is a really cute area. It's got like the fireplaces and you'll recognize these from The Sims 3. And these couches come from The Sims 3 pr or in The Sims 3 as well pretty much. So you'll recognize that they do have a lot of the same items but they also have a lot of different items which is kind of cool. I do like that a lot. So what's this? 
What is that? Oh, it's leaves. Okay, I get it. All right, and we could hunt for bugs, dig for treasure, <laughs> stargaze. I think we're just going to head home because if you look at our time for our class uh, right here, 10 hours, so we need to get some sleep. So let's call the taxi back so we can go home. I think she looks much better. Very different looking from what she did look like. But look at her picture right here. She looks really pretty. And I love her new outfit. I'm really happy with it. So I think it's cute. They walk kind of silly, don't they? Their feet are weird when they walk. Oh, I thought those people were fighting. Or are they fighting? No, they're not. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. We gotta go home because we gotta get some sleep before our exam. And possibly some food as well. What's this? You're gonna greet him. Well, I mean, until your taxi gets here, you can. Why is it blinking like that? It's like flashing. It's weird. I don't really like it. I, it didn't start doing that until I, um... Oh, there she goes. She's listening to her MP3 player. See? <laughs> having a good old time <laughs> okay you gotta stop so we can go home okay here we go and she loves she loves that they love the little mp3 player they try to use all the time so cute anyways I'll talk to you guys when we get back to the dorm room Okay, so here we are. We are back, and she's just pulling up outside. We do need to go ahead and grab some food. Is that burnt? That's totally burnt, isn't it? Yes, it is. Gross. Alright, so let's eat this. It says, great, a member of the household has brought some new clothes. Now, they just need a dresser or armoire to keep them in. Lorsh to do not steal my bowl of food. Okay. I was gonna say. She does only have eight hours now. So she really needs to hurry. And then when she's done eating, she's gonna go sleep. I thought her pajamas were okay. I didn't think they were anything too bad. Oh goodness, when they get talk and they eat forever. Whose homework are these? Did she do her assignment? She probably didn't, did she? No, she didn't. Shoot. That's okay. She's full, so she should be fine. Okay, goodness. I thought she was going to be here all day. Okay, so let's get upstairs. Let's get you to bed. Because you only have seven hours until your final exam. It's really only like six and a half. But thank goodness she's not that tired though she is kind of stinky and you don't really want them to ha be in a bad mood when they go to when they go to their um final exam so when she gets up we'll have to get her to uh take care of her her needs hopefully she'll have enough time hopefully okay it says one or more of your sims have a final exam in five hours the semester timer shows how much time is left until your sims final exam Going to the final exam is much like going to class, except that missing the final exam will damage your Sims class performance. So we need to make sure we actually get there. So we've got five hours. It's not bad. We're actually doing pretty okay. I think we'll have enough time to get everything done, and then we'll let her watch some TV because she does need some fun. Four hours. Three hours. Okay, let's get her up. She's going to have two hours in just a second. But see, these are her pajamas. And I thought they were okay. I didn't think they were too bad. So I just left her in them. Or I would have bought her new pajamas as well. But I don't think she really needs them. So I thought that was okay with what she had. Okay, let's get her in the shower.
these showers really stink. They are really slow. So, unfortunately, she is not going to have much time to watch TV, but that's okay. She doesn't really need that much time. She just needs a little bit. Okay, so she's going to go. Uh, she has a final exam in one hour. Not attending the final exam will hurt Tara's grade for this semester. Don't be late. Well, she's not going to be late. She's going to be all right on time. It's at 5 o'clock in the morning. Are you kidding me? I would never go to a, a final exam in that amount of time. At 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm not even up. I would never be up at, in college either. So that's just crazy. Uh, it's really crazy that it's that early. Yeah, her dad is still really good with her, though, so that's good. She doesn't really like this Kenneth guy, unfortunately. Who's this? Jason Grove. That's the uh, mascot. If you didn't know. I think you did, but I'm just saying. Yeah, so she's in a pretty good mood. I mean, her fun's not extremely well, but she's doing pretty good for a mood for a final exam, I would think. All right, if we could just make it on the Dean's list, it's all I hope. Look at this man. He's right in his heart's content, isn't he? All right, so we'll find out if we pass or fail this semester. So right there it says, Wow, Tara finished the semester with high enough grades to snag a spot on the co coveted dean's list. Great work. She's finished the semester. Tara finished the semester with an A-plus grade. As a result, the school has given Tara a grant of 1,200 simoleons. Woohoo! So now we just jump right into the next, um, we just jump right into the next, uh, the next, um, semester. We don't, we don't go home or anything in between. Literally, you just keep jumping to next, to next, to next, to next, until you're all the way through senior. So if you didn't know that, that's another thing as well that you need to, you need to know. And it's pretty important. Now she wants to write her term paper, so let's get writing on that because she's going to have to do this every semester. She's going to have to write her term paper every semester, and it's going to take her quite a bit of time. Sometimes you can't get it as done as early as I did last time, but it will, it will help. Also, as you notice, the whole bar is not open right now. It's only up to here because we haven't finished writing our term paper. Once we do, it'll bump it. But as you see, we also need to build the skill in this semester. We need to build the body skill. And she, her class times have changed. Now it's 16, 1900. I don't know if that means today or if it means, you know, tomorrow. Because she did do her final exam today. So I'm not really sure if that they go back to class. But I'm not really sure if they do or not. So... She may. I'm not really sure. But we need to get this term paper written. We need to get our assignments going. I don't know if she has assignments. Yeah, she does. So she needs to get that done. And as much as she can do before her first class would be great. Especially the term paper. If you can get the term paper done within the first two days of your semester, your rest of your semester is really easy. Because once they start getting tired and things, that's when things start to get bad. Look at that shower spraying everywhere. That's a little bit crazy. See, she's really working hard on this, and that's what I like. I like my Sims to have this term paper done as soon as possible. That's the one thing that I don't like to keep having to worry about, is writing the term paper. That's like the thing that I hate the most about it, but it makes it more realistic, because pretty much in every semester, you're, uh, in real life college, you'll have a paper you're going to have to write. So, I was kind of upset when they didn't incorporate that into The Sims 3. But they did the objects instead. I think that was kind of the whole point. But, you know, I never really use the stupid objects. Honestly, I don't. I just don't find a use in them. All right, when she's done, I'm going to go ahead and let her eat. Okay, well, she's, like, deprived of fun, so she's done. But she did get quite a bit done, so that's good. Makes me feel good. All right, let's come eat first. Manu. I don't, really don't know if she's going to have class at 1600. We'll see if she does or not. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to try and get through this day as quickly as possible because my timers went off and uh, I don't want to keep going for too much longer. But I don't want to quit in the middle of a day. I like to quit more when they're sleeping at nighttime. So I'm hoping I'll be able to go ahead and get that done. We'll get this day done at least. Alright, so she's almost done. This man just keeps making us pancakes. Like, seriously, we want some other food. Sometimes you have to make your own food because they'll just keep making you the same thing. 
All right, let's watch this movie. I don't know what movie it is, but we're going to watch it. And see, she gets enthusiast. She gets enthusiasm, enthusiasm, in the um, or interest or whatever in the skill, the food when she eats it. She gets enthusiasm in that cuisine thing. So that's good. At least she's getting some fun from this. Tara has gained enthusiasm in film and literature. She can now discuss books with other Sims. Okay, cool. I don't know why it's doing that, guys. I really don't. Maybe it's because I'm on fast mode? I don't really know. Okay, but I think it's time to stop watching TV, friend. And I'm going to actually have you go use, take a shower. Oh, she's got class in one hour? Okay, well, then that means that she does actually have it again. And then let's work on that term paper. So I'm going to speed her up. So she gets through this, and she actually gets out of this at 1900. So she'll be back in just a few hours. And then um, when she's done with her term paper, I think I'm going to send her to bed. So you can sleep in your pajamas. I would never make them sleep in their pajama or their underwear in a dorm. Just because I wouldn't personally do that. Um, I just think it's creepy. I think it's creepy when the other people do it too. Like, I don't want to see you in your underwear. Like, seriously, I really don't. You want to write a novel. See, they get so many cool different ones. But look at her thing already. And she hasn't even wrote her term paper. Once you write the term paper, this opens up. Just so you know. Um, she does need to do her assignment as well when she gets up in the morning. So we'll get her to do that too. We could have done an assignment before this class. But honestly, it wasn't even important. What really is important to me right now is just the term paper. Because that really boosts you. It really does. It'll bump her really high. All right, just going to speed through the shower and stuff because I really think it's kind of tedious. And then this is the term paper writing. They just sit here on the computer. It's like writing a book on The Sims 3. I don't know why it's flashing like that. All right, well, she's... Oh, it says, uh, Tara has defeated the twin demons of procrastination and distraction to finish a term paper, which will boost Tara's grade for the semester. So that's great. I didn't actually open this up, so I don't really know. I thought it did, but I guess not. She wants to watch a movie, she wants to talk about a hobby, she wants to read a novel, and she wants to write a novel. She needs to work on body, but we'll probably watch a movie, so I'm going to lock that in. Is it the most? 500, 500, 500, 750. But it's going to take longer to do that one as well. So maybe you have to max this out. I'm not really sure. Seriously, I don't know. Um, your sim gets the best possible grade when they completely expand the meter and fill it to the top. But they don't tell how to expand it, so I don't really know. Maybe she has to learn this body scale first. Well, we'll work on that tomorrow. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I think we've got quite a bit done. Tara has got through her whole first semester of college already. She's already started her second. She's written her, her um, term paper for this semester already. And pretty much from now on, it's just building skills and doing assignments and pretty much keeping her in a good mood. You pretty much saw what I did for the first semester, and we'll continue doing that until she's done through her senior year. I'm not sure if we're going to start off with her in the next one or if it's going to let us choose someone in the neighborhood. If it lets us choose someone in the neighborhood, we will be doing that. Um, but um, when we get back to this household, we'll come to her instead of her father, just because we don't want her father to live on without her. So that's kind of, it's kind of sad. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys like the longer episodes, which are like an hour or above, let me know. If you guys like the shorter ones, which are 45 minutes, then let me know as well. And um, let me know if you guys like the biology major for the oceanography for her. I think it'll be really fun to get into that and get to be able to do that. Um, and I think it was fun that we got to explore going out in the town, buying our cell phone and our, our uh, MP3 player. And uh, we'll continue with uh, Tara either in the next episode or in a future episode. But guys, I had a great time and I really am having a ton of fun playing The Sims 2. I think it's really a very elaborate game compared to The Sims 3 sometimes. And I mean, I do miss some of The Sims 3 items, but I also miss a lot of The Sims 2 items. So guys, I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are all enjoying this series. And if you are, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys are enjoying. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.